Jeff Bezos and Peter Thiel have exploited workers, dodged taxes, and hoarded wealth. Now they want to hoard life itself. They're sinking billions into biotech startups that promise eternal youth, age reversal, and maybe even immortality. The same guy who made one-click shopping now wants one-click immortality. Is this the future of humanity or just posh zombies running the world forever? Well, let's see. Bezos' company, Altos Labs, is essentially a biotech Jurassic Park, but for humans. Instead of bringing back dinosaurs, they're trying to revive old cells using a technique called cellular reprogramming, a process that literally reverses aging at the molecular level. To make this happen, they've assembled some of the greatest minds in biology and genetics, including Shinya Yamanaka, the Nobel Prize-winning scientist who discovered Yamanaka factors, four genes that can reset the biological age of a cell back to a youthful state. Juan Carlos Ispisua Belmonte, a researcher who has worked on genetic modifications and tissue regeneration, and believes humans could extend life by 50 years or more using reprogramming techniques. Rick Klausner, former director of the National Cancer Institute, now leading Altos's efforts to translate aging science into real-world medical treatments. These scientists are being offered massive salaries, some reportedly over a million dollars per year, and their mission is simple. Forget everything else, just figure out how to keep us alive forever. But how does cellular reprogramming actually work? At its core, aging is just bad software running on good hardware. Over time, cells accumulate damage and genetic errors causing them to function less efficiently. The Yamanaka factors wipe the slate clean, resetting cells to a younger state without changing their identity. Scientists have already tested this in animals, and the results have been stunning. In experiments on mice, cellular reprogramming has extended lifespan by 30%, restored vision in blind mice reversed organ damage caused by aging. If this works in humans, it could mean a future where aging is optional. Instead of treating age-related diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and heart disease, doctors could prevent them entirely by keeping cells biologically young. Meanwhile, Peter Thiel, the billionaire behind PayPal, is taking a different approach. He's heavily investing in the Methuselah Foundation, an organization focused on replacing, repairing, and regenerating aging tissues. Their motto is simple. Make 90 the new 50. Rather than reprogramming cells, the Methuselah Foundation is working on young blood transfusions, a controversial technique where plasma from young donors is injected into older individuals in an attempt to rejuvenate their bodies. This method has been tested in mice with some success, but human trials have been inconclusive. Stem cell therapies, which aim to replace damaged tissues and regenerate organs. This could be particularly useful for conditions like Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injuries, and heart disease. But the big question remains, will these technologies actually work in humans, and if so, who gets access first? Now the good news. If they pull this off, humans could live longer, healthier lives, free from diseases like Alzheimer's and cancer. The bad news. If the richest 0.01% stop aging, they'll hoard power forever. Imagine a world ruled by 300-year-old billionaires who never retire. And let's be real, this tech won't be cheap. The first age-reversing treatments could cost millions per dose. While billionaires are sipping their longevity cocktails, the rest of us will be aging the old-fashioned way, slowly and painfully. Scientists are making progress, but curing death is harder than next-day shipping. For now, you can try to biohack yourself by exercising, eating well, and sleeping more. Or, you know, just buy stock in these companies and hope for the best. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Unless I finally win the lottery and disappear to a private island.